whether you call it affordable housing, inclusionary housing, or sustainable neighborhoods. Keeping residents from being priced out of the city is a critical issue here in Somerville. Right now, there are three major initiatives to address the problem. Reporter Laura Onyenyeho takes us through them. We're losing families. We're losing families that were here for generations. We are losing families that stayed here for a year or two and got priced out because they actually needed even to accommodate them. Somerville faces one of its most pressing issues this year, expanding the already dwindling supply of affordable housing. For years, the city's hot real estate market has increased rental and housing prices, leaving residents at risk of being pushed out of their neighborhoods. There are three groups with proposals before the city to address the affordable housing crisis. The Sustainable Housing Working Group appointed by Mayor Curtitoni, the Resident Group for Inclusionary Housing Zoning Ordinance, and the citywide zoning overhaul process. There were a lot of recommendations that the committee made in three general areas. Resources, basically raising money for affordable housing, policies uh, about affordable housing and, and programs, affordable housing programs. Ward 5 Alderman Mark Niedergang is the co-chair of the Sustainable Neighborhoods Working Group. The 26-member panel spent the last 10 months developing a comprehensive set of recommendations that includes everything from an increase in affordable housing ratios to additional funding initiatives. When we proposed our, um, our interim um, inclusionary zoning amendments, um, what we wanted to do was something as simple as possible. We wanted to take the existing city ordinance and simply change a few things. Housing advocate Fred Berman led a petition drive for an inclusionary housing zoning ordinance change. With more than 500 signatures, the petition was presented at a public meeting in the Alderman's Chamber last December. The inclusionary housing ordinance includes demands for eviction protection and affordable amenities like parking and laundry facilities. The planning board is currently in the midst of a citywide zoning overhaul. The original plan was brought up before a vote last year, but the aldermen sent the planning board back to the drawing board. Community meetings and revisions are now underway. We filed this ordinance now was because Creating a brand new zoning ordinance for the entire city is really, really complex. It's going to take a lot of discussion. There's no guarantee that um, the second time that the city tries to do this, it's going to get everything right so that the Board of Aldermen endorses it. Both sustainable neighborhoods and the inclusionary proposal have similar goals, but different approaches. The reason that we filed this as an interim provision is because in the same way that when there's a change in capital gains tax law or other tax law, people, um, investors, people, uh, developers, corporate people figure out what do they need to do to beat the new law, get ahead of the new law. And that's exactly what's going to happen. If, if developers anticipate that inclusionary zoning requirements are going to go up in the next year, they're going to try to get their permits in before. On 311 Highland Avenue, new seven-unit luxury condos were built, the most expensive range in between $1.3 to $1.6 million. Under the current proposal, seven-unit developments fall below the maximum requirement of eight units. Under the new recommendations, six units will count for 20% of affordable housing. Concerns of the developers building in other cities due to the extent of the proposals have been raised. But neither gang doubts that would happen. For most of the housing that's being developed now are small luxury condos. And you know what? If it chills the development of small luxury condos in Somerville, personally, that doesn't bother me a whole lot. I don't think we need more small luxury condos in Somerville for wealthy people. We need affordable housing for folks who are living here now. So, you know, if it stops all housing development, that would be bad. I don't think that's very likely. A second draft of the initial zoning overhaul will be put out in June and a public hearing in September to review the recommendations of the proposal. For Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Laura Onyenaho. You can find the full Sustainable Neighborhoods report at bit.ly slash sustainable neighborhoods report. <laughs>